To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. Bordering Jackson Square on its upper and lower sides are the elegant and graceful red brick Pentaba buildings that were designed by architects James Gallier Sr. and later Henry Howard. The matching four-story structures were financed by Michaela Almanester, the Baroness de Pentaba, a native New Orleanian who returned to the city from Paris in 1848 to escape a miserable marriage and the outbreak of another revolution in France. The daughter of Don André Salmonester, who paid for the rebuilding of St. Louis Cathedral after the fire of 1788, the Baroness personally supervised work on the buildings and was a constant visitor to the construction site. In late 1850, the buildings were completed and the entwined initials, AP, for the maiden and married names of the Baroness can still be found on the cast iron railings of the balconies. Today, the Louisiana State Museum owns the Lower Pentaba on the St. Anne Street side of Jackson Square, while the Upper Pentaba on St. Peter Street belongs to the city of New Orleans. Each structure houses 16 four-story townhouses that have commercial tenants on the street level and apartments on the upper floors. The Pentaba buildings are architectural monuments to an earlier age, the legacy of a visionary New Orleans businesswoman and real estate developer. The 1850 house in New Orleans' Lower Pentaba Building offers visitors a glimpse into the city's antebellum past. In the mid-19th century, Baroness Michaela Almanester de Pentaba built the matching row houses that flanked Jackson Square. Inspired by Parisian architecture, the Pentaba Buildings housed retail establishments on the first floor and fashionable residences on the upper floor. In 1921, the Pentaba family sold the lower Pentaba building on St. Anne Street to philanthropist William Ratcliffe Irby, who bequeathed the property to the Louisiana State Museum. Open to the public in 1948, the 1850 house is furnished with art and decor from the era before the Civil War. In the heart of the French Quarter, the 1850 house reflects upper middle class life during one of the most prosperous periods in the city's history. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.